All right, we're going to talk a little bit about shock. Everyone's heard of shock. You know, you hear people saying, uh oh, I think he's going into shock or he's looking kind of shocky. Well, what is shock exactly? Exactly what's going on? What's the definition? Well, shock is defined as a lack of oxygen and a lack of perfusion to the tissues. So for example, if I cut my finger right down to the bone all the way around my finger and no blood could get pumped up to this part of my finger, would the tissues up here go into shock? Yeah. Based on that definition, they would. Would I be in shock? Probably not. I wouldn't be very happy, but I wouldn't probably be in shock. So what makes a person go into shock? Well, it's not enough oxygen or blood pressure to their brain. And that's what starts to cause shock. So how do we, how do we know what's going on? We have these little things called baroreceptors in our body. And baroreceptors sense a drop in pressure, and they're going to send a message up to the brain saying, hey brain, we're losing pressure down here. And the brain's going to go, no problem. And it sends a message down to the adrenal gland, and the adrenal gland pumps out adrenaline. And adrenaline speeds up our heart, makes our blood vessels constrict, so all the blood in our skin is driven back into our vital organs, our heart, our, our big muscle core groups, our vital organs, our livers, our kidneys, stuff like that, and of course the brain. So when you have an adrenaline release, people start to look pale or duller. Their breathing is faster. Their heart rate speeds up. That's what's going on in shock. So what can you do? How can you help treat someone who's going into shock? First of all, lay them down. Now they don't have to pump blood against gravity to get it to their brain. It's easier when they're flat. If there's any bleeding, stop the bleeding. Talk to them. Keep them warm. In other words, don't let your patient shiver. Because if they start to get cold, now blood leaves the core and the vital organs and goes back out to the extremities because they're working hard and shivering. So keep them wrapped up, keep them warm, keep talking to them, try to keep them awake. If it looks serious enough, obviously you're gonna call 911. Now, you're a willing bystander. 